Hey, what's up? Welcome to DGen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of us is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of Plug Power, ticker symbol PLUG. And so I wanted to do a follow up on this one after I released the last video, uh, which came out about three weeks ago on February 6th. So I did want to do an update on that. And I also do want to point out that I am recording this on Friday, February 23rd during market hours, and the current price is right around $3.05. Also, do want to point out that earnings are coming up next Friday, pre-market, on March 1st, and I will be able to stream that earnings call. So if you are interested in paying attention to what's going on with their earnings, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out that stream next week. Uh, it should be a lot of fun, pretty interesting going over the chart. And I do think that it could be pretty exciting to the upside following earnings based on what's happened in the price over the past few weeks. And so basically what happened uh, following uh, the uh, video that I put out on the 6th, during that video, I pointed out that it looked like we had put in a double top getting rejected from right around $5, marked by this red line at $4.99. I was suggesting in that video that because we had this bullish engulfing candle, there was a possibility that we could get another test of $5, uh, but it looks like the highest that we got was on February 12th, when we hit a high of $4.69, but ultimately got rejected. We did put in a higher close than we had been putting over here, but let's see, the high of February 7th was $4.59, whereas the close on the 12th was $4.57, so we could not get in a close higher than that previous high, suggesting that there were no buyers above that level, and that ultimately marked the top, as we did see a pretty notable retracement from that high coming down about 33% from there, so pretty significant. But, you know, I do think there is some hope that we could be finding a bottom, as it does look like we're coming to a lot of levels that do stand out. One of those being uh, this blue line marked here at $3.07. That was a pretty small gap over here. Does look like that has been filled. And as a result, we could be arriving at support. Uh, but then just below that, I do have this orange line marked here at $3 a share, partially being just you know a psychological level. Also, I believe that was uh, prior support or resistance in the past. Having acted in those ways, it might be acting as support moving forward. So I do think that, you know, with the low on the day today of $3.03, we could be getting right around a level of support. So something to keep in mind. Uh, and then just below that, from this Fibonacci retracement going from the low here on January 18th up to the high of $5.14, hit on February 1st, uh, we do have the 786 retracement of that uh, at a price of $2.87.9, right around $2.90. And so it's quite possible that could be acting as support. Uh, but then just below there, I do have this yellow line marked at $2.84. And so, you know, that again could be acting as support. But continuing down, there is another gap being a pretty small one based on, let's see, not only the high, but also the close on uh, January 19th. That price was $2.68. So quite possible that we could be returning to that level. Uh, but then, you know, kind of, you know, I feel like worst case scenario or, you know, second to worst case scenario is coming to this white downtrend. If I do take a step back, uh, that downtrend does look like it connects with the point over here that was, I believe, the low on May 12th, 2021. And then we do have another pivot point based on the low here of May 12th, uh, 2022. Also, you know, just kind of coincidence, hitting another low, you know, around May 12th, 2023. Quite possible that will be happening again in 2024, hitting a low in the middle of May. Uh, but, you know, based on, you know, that trend line, having acted as support in the past, did get a little breakthrough below here, but then acted as support again before, you know, another test breakdown, uh, but then 
breaking above that level to hit the high of $5.14 during this run-up. Quite possible we could be returning to that level, and that could be right around a price of $2.50 but we could also be coming down to you know the previous lows of two dollars and 26.3 cents or right around two dollars and 24 cents marked by this green line quite possible we could be hitting those levels potentially before earnings and if we do hit them before earnings on the first I do think that could suggest that the bottom is in and that price could be rallying following earnings, you know, basically selling up until earnings with expectations being really, really low and then any minor beat. As we can see here with the EPS estimate being negative 0.4286, if we get a slight beat on that still being negative. Uh, that could send price higher. So, you know, I do think that we will be moving down over the course of the next week before earnings. But if we can find support around one of these levels, really ranging between $2.50 up to current price, if we can start to find our footing around there, I do think we could be seeing a bottom before earnings. And then we could start to test some of these levels to the upside. Uh, like potentially getting back to right around $4 a share, uh, which here is the 382 retracement at $4.4.1. And, and if we can reclaim $4, of course, we might be revisiting $5.00 but it might be a month or so before we get back there. Uh, but, you know, those are just my thoughts. If you found them helpful, make sure you like the video and share your thoughts in the comments down below. And make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and for the earnings call coming up next week on the 1st. Thanks a lot for watching.